autism has a huge umbrella with a lot of different causes, but one of the causes is an autoimmune reaction to bovine folate receptor binding protein, and you can suddenly no longer, if you develop that reaction, get enough folate into your system. So is there any hope? Yes, there is. First thing you do is you remove the milk. You have to remove it. You have to remove it. Secondly, you have to bypass that transport system by the second transport system that folate cr uses to cross the blood-brain barrier. And that is one, but you have to use high doses of folinic acid. What do I mean high doses? I mean 0.5 to 2 milligrams per kilogram. That is a high dose. But there it is, it's, it's pushing across the membranes by a very less efficient transport system and suddenly the child starts waking up. In a case in our clinic, the hint was the mother saying, I took away, the child had lost words after a febrile illness, had lost all words, had had 50 words and lost them all, became autistic, had a seizure, overdosed on seizure meds, was non-functioning. The mother thought to remove milk and he got one word back eat. That was the clue for me. So when, as part of his seizure workup, uh, epilepsy workup, he had a, a CSF, uh, cerebral spinal fluid uh, uh, tap, and the fluid was checked. They checked for methylfolate. And though it was present, it was at the lowest point of normal. We know if you check that, and it's less than the average, the mean, guess what? You have to supplement it. And so we did. I said, you know, we're not, I, to the mother, I said, we're not gonna do another spinal tap to see, but that's the clue, I think. So she stopped the milk, we gave high dose folinic acid, and within two weeks, he had 50 words back. And when she came home from the store, after not hearing him speak other than the word eat for over two years, he says, Mom, Mom, I love you. The right mechanism, the right intervention, the right time, and the right situation.